times turning all around times I'm gonna praise the Lord Dark times, bright times, nothing going right times I'm gonna praise the Lord I believe he knows the things I need and he's in control I was made to give him all the praise cause he is the Lord Up times, down times, turning all around times I'm gonna praise the Lord Dark times, bright times, nothing going right times I'm gonna praise the Lord I believe he knows the things I need and he's in control I was made to give him all the praise cause he is the Lord Hi everyone, it's Pete and Ali here. Welcome to Ignite Online and welcome to the last one in our series on Inside Out. Oh, I know. You might have noticed from the song that we've just had that we are talking today about the fruits of the Spirit. But didn't we look at the fruits of the Spirit in a series last year? We did. So why would we be looking at it again? Well, we've talked lots of, over the last few weeks about different things that we might feel on the inside and how they affect how we act on the outside. And maybe different things that happen on the outside that affect how we feel on the inside. But the fruits of the Spirit are all about the things that, no matter what we're feeling and no matter what's happening around us, 
God wants us to have these things in our lives and to show them on the outside to the people around us. Take a look at this video that helps explain that and we'll be back a little later. What kind of tree is that? Wait, I know. It's an apple tree. How can you tell? Because it's got apples on it. Apples are my favorite fruit. No, oranges. Wait, bananas. Bananas are definitely my favorite. My favorite fruit is love. Love? Love isn't a fruit. Sure it is. Love is a fruit of the Spirit. Fruit of the what? The fruit of the Spirit. In the book of Galatians, Paul writes about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When we walk with the Holy Spirit, that's the fruit we can expect to see in our lives. I'm not a tree. I don't have fruit. The fruit of the Spirit doesn't grow on trees. It grows in us because of what we are. An apple tree naturally makes apples. An orange tree naturally makes oranges. And a banana tree makes... Bananas! Right. And all who follow Jesus have God's Holy Spirit living inside them. So when they choose to let God's Holy Spirit guide them, what naturally comes out is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Right. All the fruit of the Spirit. And just like you can tell an apple tree by its apples, the fruit of God's Holy Spirit lets others know that we belong to God. But without the power of God's Holy Spirit, Paul says a different fruit grows in us, the fruit of our sinful nature. That does not sound good. It isn't. That fruit is selfishness, pride, anger, envy, disobedience, greed, fighting, and anything that keeps us from getting along with each other and loving others the way God does. That fruit always makes us want more stuff, because we think stuff can make us happier than God can. That fruit leaves us empty instead of full. Ew, I don't want that fruit. I want love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But I get angry sometimes, and I'm not very patient. Guess I'll just have to try harder. Paul tells us trying harder won't get us anywhere. That's because our own strength only lasts a little while. But those who follow Jesus have declared that their sinful nature is dead. Now we can choose to live by the power of God's Holy Spirit instead. We can spend time with Him and pray and get to know Him, for real. And as we get to know God's Holy Spirit more... I know. The power of God's Holy Spirit will make more of the fruit of the Spirit grow in us. Like bananas! <laughs> like bananas. You healed the sick, you loved the poor You took two fish and made a thousand more And that's why I adore you You're always kind, but sometimes tough But you always know what's best for us And that's why I adore you We want to be more like you each day
to be more like you each day And you will help us find a way We want to be more like you each day And you will help us find a way I trust in you cause you are good You are good Things you did are what we should be doing The words you speak are always true Jesus And that's why I will always choose to follow you And that's why I will always choose to follow you Love your neighbor The fruit of the Spirit is what God puts inside us by his Holy Spirit and it's supposed to come out of us so that the rest of the world, when they see us, see what God has done. They see the love and joy and peace and patience in our lives. They see the kindness and goodness towards others coming out. They see our self-control and our faithfulness. All of these things in our lives are supposed to be seen. God wants them to be seen. They're no good if they're hidden away. So our game today is going to be about finding and seeing the things that are hidden. So our game today is going to be hunt the fruit. It's like hide and seek. Get a piece of fruit and get somebody 
to hide that piece of fruit somewhere in the room or in the house. You can set where the play area is. And then the rest of you have to hunt it and see if you can find where the fruit's been hidden. See if you can see where the fruit is. Have fun. Because we're talking about the fruit of the spirit today, I thought we'd do something with fruit for our craft. So we're going to make some fruit skewers with poor chocolate. So when we eat them, we'll remember about the goodness that God wants to bring out of our lives and share with the world around us. Here's the things you'll need. You'll need a tray. You'll need some chocolate. You'll need some skewers. You'll need a bowl to melt the chocolate in. And you'll need some fruit that you like. I've got some grapes and some strawberries and some raspberries. But you can use whatever fruit you like. Here's how you do it. First, put your fruit onto your skewers to make fruit kebabs. Once you've melted your chocolate in the microwave, give it a really good stir to make sure it's nice and smooth and runny. I'm using white and milk. And then what you want to do, get your tray of kebabs and then drizzle the chocolate over the top and then put it in the fridge to have it set. We're going to pray now for God to fill us with his Holy Spirit on the inside and to help us to show all of the fruits of the Spirit to people around us on the outside. So we've got our skewers here, which conveniently have nine fruits on them, just like the nine fruits of the Spirit. So we're going to eat our skewers and pray for the fruit of the Spirit. Father God, we pray for your Holy Spirit to be in our lives and I pray that we can show love to our neighbour and everyone around us. Father God, thank you for the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. I pray it comes out and we show joy to the world around us. This is a tasty way of doing prayer. We should do really this more often. Of doing it. Why don't you have a go and pray for the rest of the fruits of the Spirit yourselves? Enjoy! That's the end of our Ignite session for today and the end of our series on Inside Out. Next week, it will be slightly different. We're not going to put an Ignite online up because Ali and I and Claire are going to be doing some work with an organisation called Cedarwood. We're putting up two children's work sessions online on Saturday at 1.30 and 5.30. And I'll put the link below to the live stream if you want to watch those. And after that, it is the summer holidays. Woohoo! So... We will not be doing long ignites every week, but we will still be here and we will still be putting out an ignite short every Sunday during the summer holidays. And maybe some extras as well. Let's see what comes up. Until we see you again, enjoy the end of term and your summer holidays, and we hope to be back with you together soon. Bye. Bye.